opening up here at the Youngstown Playhouse on Friday and running for two weekends is this area premiere of the SpongeBob musical. How can you put the SpongeBob musical into words? It is just a blast. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of great moments that inspire and, and just invoke joy. People can expect lots of bright colors, lots of energy. It's a very energetic show. The, the energy is insane. It's so chaotic. This show is one of the largest shows I've actually ever been in. The set's huge, so much music, so much physicality, so much dancing, so much everything. There's a lot of moving parts, there's a lot of dances, there's a lot of recognizable characters, um, lots of great music. It, it's just, I, it's a blast. It's just fun on stage. I think people who are SpongeBob fans are gonna love it, but also there's a lot of stuff in it for people who don't even know what SpongeBob is. It's a typical, credible, It's a totally original SpongeBob tale, so it does not follow any of the individual cartoons from the series. Um, and it tells the story of SpongeBob, Patrick, and Sandy and their quest to save the town from a volcano that's going to erupt and destroy Bikini Bottom. Breaking news! That is something we should worry about. After today's second unexplained tremor, smoke has been sighted at the top of Mount Humongous. This show is insane. It is probably the biggest production I've ever been a part of. The set is huge and so colorful. The the actors are putting in so much hard work. There's so much dancing. Our incredible ensemble, they are always changing costumes. They're constantly moving, running around, doing different things. So I think the most talenting part has been the last week or so where we've started putting it all together with the lights and the sets and the costumes and the sound. I know it goes without saying, but there's so much acting in this show. Like you have to act so hard, and it's just, it's so much fun. Let's have some fun together. It truly has such a creative, collaborative feel. The show itself allows us as artists to kind of explore different creative outlets for how we can portray things on stage. It's very much a challenge because I'm trying to balance the real person aspect with the cartoon aspect. SpongeBob, I've taken a lot of a lot of SpongeBob isms from the TV show. I've been watching it for the past two months to try and figure out what to do with the character. You have to figure out how SpongeBob would walk, how SpongeBob would actually talk as a human, how SpongeBob would act as a human and emote as a human. You can do a lot of stuff with animation where you have to try and emanate that as a human being. And that's probably been the, the hardest part is finding the mannerisms of how would this character who is a cartoon act if they were a human being. These characters are iconic. They're every single country in the world people know SpongeBob. And so bringing these characters to life, you know, be it intimidating, it's also a lot of fun. Disaster's on its way down means we can't spend no more time in here. You won't know who I am. Evil genius type brain. You can't stop a volcano. I mean, are you all in shame? The ones who stay will all be vaporized without a doubt before that sucker blows. We gotta get the fish out. So this by far is the biggest production as far as tech has gone for us. Last year we went to go see a production of the SpongeBob musical at Lincoln Park Performing Arts Center in Pennsylvania, which is where this set is from, and we rented it from them. So it's designed by a Broadway designer. It has a bajillion pieces and parts. What you see here is only a tenth of it, and it is incredibly challenging to put together the amount of planning that has had to go into how to fit all of this in um, and how not to kill anyone in the process um, has been quite an undertaking. Um, but I mean, as you can see, it's a beautiful set and uh, we're so excited to have it.
When you come to see the show, the first thing that I will say is I am obsessed with the music. The music in this show is really incredible. The music in this show is really unique in that it's not a jukebox musical, but it does have music from some of today's greatest artists. Um, so it's not covers of songs, it's totally original pieces of music um, written by people like Cyndi Lauper, Sarah Bareilles, The Plain White Tees, Aerosmith, The Flaming Lips, Panic at the Disco, David Bowie, Lady A, John Legend, just to name a few. It was all orchestrated together by a man named Tom Kitt, so it has a very cohesive feel to it, um, while also still kind of honoring the individual styles of all the different artists who contributed. Um, so it has a very modern, contemporary feel, um, but it also still has that classic Broadway sound at the same time. The music is just out of this world. <laughs> This show has been a dream of mine and most of uh, the people involved with MTC for a few years now. Ever since we saw it on Broadway, we knew that it was something that you know spoke to our generation, but was also something that we felt like the community of Youngstown would really appreciate. So getting to do this is a dream come true. But like I said, the amount of technical elements that go into this show is just next level. Everything lights up on this set. There's a thousand rolling pieces of things that go in and out. Our music director, Anthony, uh, is in the pit performing live sound effects to everyone who's performing. It's been such a wonderful process. Um, the cast is so talented. Everyone fits their roles so well. Uh, I think it's just going to be, you know, the blockbuster musical of the summer. This is a great show. Uh, it's family friendly, but not only kid forward. Yes, you can bring your family, you can bring your kids. It'll be a great show to introduce kids to theater. But also, if you're an adult, maybe who's never seen SpongeBob, you're gonna find things you love in this show. Um, the characters are very real. They, um, there's even a lot of heartfelt moments in the show that I think people are really gonna connect with. It's really a show for everybody, and we're hoping that everyone who comes to the Youngstown Playhouse is just going to leave with a smile and maybe a little sense of hope for a brighter tomorrow. Tickets are available at millennialtheater.org, experienceyourarts.org, youngstownplayhouse.org, or by calling the Dior Performing Arts Center Youngstown Playhouse box office. Our performances run the 28th, 29th, and 30th of July, and the 4th, 5th, and 6th of August. Friday and Saturday are at 7.30, Sundays are at 2.30. Come and see this show. Um, it's, it's something that you kind of have to see to believe. Come see the SpongeBob musical. It's so much fun. This is a really good show and everyone's put in so much work, so we would absolutely love if you came to see this show. Come have the best day ever with us. Come see us in Bikini Bottom. You're gonna have a great time. Bye! Seven Seventeen Credit Union, savings power to give your business an extra boost. Business savings, certificates, and business money market. Seven Seventeen Credit Union, make your money work as hard as you do. Check out our business money market and CD rates at seven seventeen cu dot com slash rates.